Liam Treadwell winning the Grand National at just 23 years old. But last month he died suddenly at the age of 34. In recent years he'd spoken frankly about his struggles with depression after suffering a severe head injury. The coping me mechanism got knocked out of me that day. James Banks, another talented jockey, died in February. An inquest found the 36-year-old had taken his own life. Michael Curran, a dedicated stable lad, died suddenly in May. Well, it doesn't appear to me that we seem to have the same prevalence in other sports. It is young people, rural communities, it's loneliness, isolation, pressure, not great money. Simon's son, Tim, was an up-and-coming rider. Last year, he took his own life at just 17. He was, um, he was a very kind lad. You know, every child gets a bit of an obsession about a hobby or an interest. Well, horses and horse racing was, was Tim's, and, and he, threw himself, he threw himself into it. It was, A, such a shock that it had happened, you know, uh, you know that kind of death. But it was a massive shock that it was him. In 2017, the industry charity Racing Welfare helped 620 people with their mental health. That rose to 685 in 2018 and 887 in 2019, a rise of 43% in three years. The charity has a 24-hour helpline and provides counselling. One person who knows about the pressure of the sport is former jockey Kevin Tobin. He quit after coming close to taking his own life. It was a slow burn when it began, so I would have, you know, an owner or a trainer or even a fellow jockey that might pass on a slight criticism of how I rode on a given day. I began to equate my self-worth and my value as a person with how I was performing on a horse. Research published last year revealed that 87% of jockeys had experienced stress, anxiety or depression, while 74% of trainers and 72% of stable staff had struggled with similar issues. Kevin is now training to become a counsellor. He wants racing to recruit mental health professionals to spend time with jockeys. Just having a casual conversation, maybe unload something that you were carrying with you, and maybe, you know, learn a, a better way to deal with a problem that you're having. Shannon James is someone in the industry who asked for help. I 100% rely on my horses. It's my happy place. Do you think there's a lot of people that just feel too shy or almost like they don't want to make a fuss? Definitely, because I was one of those people and it was suggested that I be put in contact with Racing Welfare, which really did make a difference. We would help people with um, a broad range of mental health issues um, and that can be from um, a starting point that is more preventative all the way through to crisis where we would facilitate them getting the, the specialist support that they need. After his son's death, Simon Jones began raising money to train mental health first aiders, a legacy for Tim. We wanted to put a first aid trainer in every yard and the response, you know, we've raised almost £20,000 and that tells me that people understand our cause and it resonates that we've got to do something for these young people. If I can help, you know, one person uh, and one dad and one mum and one brother, you know, to not go through what we've gone through, then, then for me that's, that's success. Charlotte Gallagher, BBC News.